Welcome to The Bump and what is shaping up to be the most chaotic SummerSlam week in WWE history. I'm Byron Saxon. And I'm Kayla Braxton. Less than a week before defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Cody Rhodes in a brand versus brand main event at SummerSlam, Roman Reigns shocked the world and surrendered his title. The head of the table said that he's been beating up Cody for years now and he has nothing more to prove. Now he's taking a sabbatical in Hollywood to show his cousin, The Rock, that he will be a bigger superstar there too. With SummerSlam in disarray and the draft set to begin the night after, Triple H called for a one-night WWE Universal title tournament with selections from the GMs of both Raw and SmackDown. Raw GM William Regal named Cody as Raw's first entrant and said he was confident the title would be coming to Raw. But SmackDown's brand new general manager, The Miz, didn't find this awesome. He called the attempt to take his WWE Universal Championship to Raw nothing short of theft. And The Miz is in it to win it for his brand. He's sending a team of killers to bring that title home. Let's take a look. Kayla, we know what Braun Strowman brings to a fight. AJ Styles is always a threat. If you ask me, though, KO is the man to beat in this whole tournament. He's been hungry for the opportunity. Reigns has left him here. That sounds like he was waiting for crumbs from Roman's table, Byron. William Regal's entries are no slouches. Finn Balor was the first Universal Champion. Much of the WWE Universe believes this is Gunter's time. And Cody Rhodes has been looking to finish the story for a while now. That last slot, though, Kayla, what is Regal's strategy there? William Regal still has one foot in developing young superstars. Raw's GM is going to make a match on the SummerSlam kickoff show for that last slot in the tournament. Your guy, Kevin Owens... I mean, I wouldn't call him my guy. Your guy is not going to know his opponent until the winner of that match, and neither will we. Don't blow yourself up, young man. You're apt to have a long night. Mr. Regal. Coming in early to help the ring crew, running the ropes while everyone else is still at the hotel, it makes an impression. Thanks. I do my best. Do you? What do you mean? Do you do your best? Apply yourself. You sound like my old math teacher. Well, you came to Raw more than a year ago now. And you've yet to make much of an impression. No titles, no great rivalries, a win-loss record with just enough victories to fly under the radar. A uh, great pep talk? Let me finish. I see your potential. The question is, if you're ready to fulfill it. I'm ready. Good. Because as you know, there's a tournament for the WWE Universal Championship tonight. The final slot for Raw will be decided in a match on the kickoff show. One of the combatants will be Dominic Mysterio. That young man has a future, a legacy, a name. The other competitor is you. Thank you, sir. So much. I'll bring my best. Good man. See you do. You're the long shot of this whole night, my boy. You're the dark horse. Beat the odds.
Oh, good. There you are. I'm Troy Simpkin. Associate, but soon to be full fledged producer. Uh, Troy, we've met several times. You even borrowed my toothbrush once. <laughs> Ribbing you, bro! Anyway, just wanted to make sure you had the lay of the land. I mean, you're already booked tonight, but normally these situations are a good chance to check your social media, talk to other superstars, mess with your attire, all kinds of things. I've been on Raw for a while now. I know how these things work. Okay, fine. Just trying to be helpful. Thanks, but I need to focus on my match. Good idea since the kickoff show is starting soon. Oh, and I wanted to let you know that we won't be needing you for anything after the match, so feel free to head back to the hotel. Why would I go back to the hotel? I expect to win and keep fighting. Of course you do. Well, good luck. Well, look who it is, if it isn't SummerSlam's Dark Horse. That nickname is sticking. Good times. Good times? Is Raw trying to steal SmackDown's WWE Universal title? Between us, what is Regal really up to? Um, giving me an opportunity to win the WWE Universal Championship? He put you in a qualifying match. You think that's some kind of vote of confidence? Come on, don't be naive. I'm not. What are you getting at? You know he has all his royal eggs in the Cody Rhodes basket. He's just trying to set the American Nepo baby up to win. I'll tell you what, the draft starts tomorrow. You beat Dominic, maybe I bring you over to SmackDown in the supplemental. We'll make a big announcement on social media. Oh, you'll post about me? For real? Why would you want me in the tournament instead of Dom anyway? Because I want the WWE Universal title on my show, where it belongs. And I am 100% sure KO will beat you. Coming to SmackDown? Man, that is a very generous offer and a wicked smart strategy, Miz. I just, and I don't want to overstep here, but I have just one little thing I'm bumping on. What's that? It's just that I would rather have my fingernails pulled out with needle nose pliers than ever work for an entitled, condescending reality show hack like you. I promise that you will regret that. Miz, this right now, 
This conversation, talking to you, that's what I regret. It's the so-called dark horse of the tournament. The following contest is a qualifying match for the Universal Championship Tournament. Making his way to the ring from Iowa, weighing in at 221 pounds. Uh, Let's not get ahead of ourselves calling this guy the dark horse of the tournament. He's not even officially in it yet. I have to agree with you, Corey. Winning the WWE Universal Championship Tournament will be difficult enough. But to have to win an extra qualifying match first makes it nearly impossible. The second generation superstar looking to carve his own path. It's Dominic Mysterio. And his opponent representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds. Dirty. Dominic looks ready to go, but I've heard some rumblings backstage that he's not too thrilled about being placed in this qualifying match. Coming in complaining is the quickest way to sabotage your own chances. Dom needs to put aside his grievances and concentrate on the task at hand. These men will walk out of this qualifying match with a ticket to the WWE.
WWE Universal Championship Tournament. And we know who it's going to be, Cole. Dirty Dominic Mysterio. He's a hard man who has hard time. Hard time? He spent one night in jail. Show little respect to Dominic's opponent. You really think this guy has got the stuff to follow in Roman Reigns' footsteps, Saxton? He's been called the Dark Horse for a reason. Oof. But here comes the fire. A wrist lock arm drag. Wow! Can he score the pin? Wasting no time getting his shoulder up. Anyone who thought this would be over quick has another thing coming. Fails to connect on the springboard. Super kick! The springboard attack fails to land. Super kick. Discus Lariat. Big forearm. Dominic able to avert that. Put into the corner now. A wrist lock guard drag right off the top ropes. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. From the top. Oh, and he doesn't connect. And a kick. Stop in the leg. Oh, stomping away. This match grinded him down a little. Quick reflexes from Dominic. Boom, what a kick. Jordy Dom showing what he thinks of the WWE Universe. Hits him with the counter. Ooh -hoo. Oh, costly error there. Oh, my God, what a kick. He catches Dominic with a counter. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. Oh, there's some gouging going on. Oh, that's unnecessary. Oh, man. Can they go on the attack? And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. He may be in a bad way here. They've definitely taken their lumps. Great trouble here. Can he get it fully locked in? And uncanny. Whoa, whoa, look at that. And somehow he's able to work his way out of the hold. And misses on the springboard. Boot. As the grip locked in all the way up, sit out, choke slam. Dirty Dom is in serious danger. Cover! And that'll do it. It's finally over with the win. Here is your winner. Uh, we now know who will fill that final spot in the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. What a win. Impressive, but somehow he's going to have to find a way to string together three more victories before the night's over.
There he is. Great match with Dominic out there. Regal made the right call opening that last slot up. We're in the opposite bracket, but I'm kind of hoping you make it to the final. Real Cinderella story. Is that like some kind of reverse psychology mind game? Hell no. You make it to the final, I'm aiming to beat you just like I was going to beat Reigns. Is that right? Hope you make it to the finals with some nice, short, easy matches on the way. I want everyone to know I beat you at your best. That's the spirit. Good luck tonight, brother. Same to you. I'll see you in the main event in a few hours. KO, first round of the WWE Universal Title Tournament. Let's do this. Seriously? Are you literally the most desperate superstar on Raw? I'm just saying. Oh, KO, I'm so excited to fight you. What the hell have you ever done to even deserve being in the same room as the WWE Universal Championship? You want to know what I've done to get here? It was a rhetorical question. What you've done is take the opportunity to showcase your craft on the biggest stage in the world and flush it right down the toilet. You've been over on Raw for what, two years now? And most of the WWE Universe doesn't even know your name. All you are is some charity project for Regal. I'm nobody's project. Half right. You're definitely a nobody. See you out there. He's back again to compete in the championship tournament. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Iowa. Weighing in at 221 pounds. Uh, no disrespect to Dominic Mysterio, but the competition levels up a bit here with Kevin Owens. Yeah, it's one thing to take on KO fresh, but after already competing tonight, good luck.
It's almost time to see who advances and who goes home. Kevin Owens is always ready for a fight. And his opponent from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! As gritty and tough as they come, KO has to be one of the most hardened superstars anyone can face in this business. And that is how he has spent nearly a decade as a top name in WWE. There have been very few folks to main event a single WrestleMania, let alone two. But KO has done just that. Yeah, KO's not the kind of superstar you'd picture as a multi-time WrestleMania main eventer. But he's made an entire career out of defying expectations. There were not many people who expected KO's opponent to make it into the WWE Universal Championship Tournament, but here he is. What do you think is going through his mind right now? The jerk in the curtain in Summers. Oh! Shoulders are down! And he gets his shoulder up before the count. Maybe that was just to keep his opponent off balance. Oh. Popped right in the face. to the back. Counters. This could be an opportunity. And set right into the corner. Close line in the corner. Big boot. Vicious. Ooh. Firm control. Unloads with the boot. Measured stomp right to the gut. Followed up by another to the chest. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh. There's the heel kick. Oh. He's lost some of his win now. Oh, a hard impact in the corner. It's not looking good for Owens. Owens just can't find any breathing room. Bam! Climbing the turnbuckle now. From way up. Double axe handle. Brutal stomp to the body. And oh, and then the chest as well. Boom! Knee to the face. Owens into the ropes, but KO holds on. Kick to the gut. Stunner! Stunner! This one's over. Why the heck would he do that? I'll tell you why, Saxton. Kevin Owens is making a statement. This statement could cost Owens the WWE Universal Championship. KO needs to take the W. He's wasting time. It's not a waste of time. Everyone in this tournament is watching, and they see KO beating a guy so bad he can't stand up. Is he setting him up for another stunner? Wait, small package. One, two, three. He got him. KO had it won, but his arrogance got the better of him. I don't buy it, Saxton. Let me see a replay. KO's taking it out on the referee. And another stunner for Owens. He might have won the match, but did this guy ever lose the war? Just a total meltdown from KO here tonight. And as a result of KO's meltdown, I'm not even sure his opponent's going to make it to his next match.
I'm about to go live with a hit for the bump, and you are the guy everyone is talking about tonight. You got a quick sec? You got a bag of ice? Um, no? That is a bummer. But chatting with you is not. What do you want to know? You really came out of nowhere tonight with a couple of big wins that have you in the hunt for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. But I have to ask, is your performance tonight a fluke? I'm sorry? A fluke? I don't mean any offense, it's just... Your record hasn't exactly been at the WWE Universal Championship level since you got here. What's the old saying, the times make the man? You're not wrong, Kayla. I've been finding my feet here in WWE. But when Regal gave me this opportunity, I was grateful because there's something in the air tonight. Something I could feel when I walked in the building. No, I don't think people are looking at a fluke. I think they're looking at destiny. Bold words for a man about to face Braun Strowman. I guess we're about to find out if I'm right. I guess we are. Good luck out there. If you find a bag of ice... Keep an eye out. Somehow he keeps surviving. It's the Dark Horse. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Iowa. Weighing in at 221 pounds. Uh, in, uh. He's already strung together two victories tonight. Why not make it three? Why not? Because he's facing Braun Strowman. I don't think I need to say anything else. Yeah. If this is it for the Dark Horse, he's had a good run. Destruction is now imminent. And his opponent from Shiro's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. Fire in the eye.
eyes of Braun Strowman tonight. He's ready to attack. Unchecked rage and aggression. Certainly hope the ring has been reinforced for this one. It's ready to handle a monster beatdown. Guys, you are really beginning to see the wear and tear on the dark horse of the tournament. Despite the result, KO beat the hell out of him. And now he's walking into a fight with a genuine monster in Braun Strowman. The guy that'll turn around, take the count out loss, and call it a night. Not happening, Corey. We saw it with Dominic Mysterio on the kickoff show, and we saw it with Kevin Owens in our opening match tonight. This man will not quit. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Oh, stop right to the belly. Brutal stomp to the body. And followed up by another to the chest. Now trampling the opposition. Now Strowman feeling the pressure. Now you don't often have your way with Braun like this. <laughs> Taking some time to assess the situation in the ring. And still playing cat and mouse here. Oh, man, he has fired up now. Oh, and a knee to the face. The fight is being brought right to him. Yeah, and he... Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. He's looking a little weary now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Oh, a knee to the hands. That's going to hurt Oh, my Lord. Caught with a punch. Caught that one with his face. And Braun Strowman is bleeding. Oh, man. Oh. Braun telegraphing that one. Ooh. Oh. What a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Ah, oh, caught on the chin. He's turning the tables. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? A continuous attack on Strowman. Raw is being completely neutralized. Spinning heel kick. Big boot. Vicious. Not sure how much more Strowman can take. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Monsters don't impart much fear when they're in this position. The monster's foaming at the mouth. Oof, a shot like that would counter any attack. Body slam slipped out. Inverted DDT. Oh, catches a kick to the face. This superstar looking to flex their power. Single choke slam. This spells trouble for Braun. This superstar looking to flex their power. Way up high into a sit out choke slam. It's all over, but the counting. Cover. Already got him on a win. Here is your winner. Somehow, he has survived three matches and will advance to compete in the tournament finals against none other than Cody Rhodes. Just advancing this far is a huge accomplishment, but I'm sure the Dark Horse isn't satisfied yet.
This is a setup, Regal. I take over as the general manager of SmackDown, and all of a sudden there's a tournament for my show's title with a bunch of Raw guys, and now two of them made it to the finals? Mizanin, surely you cannot believe that I somehow conspired with Roman Reigns to abdicate his title. Perhaps he simply didn't want to work with you. That is ridiculous. Roman loves me, and that's not the point. You and Triple H and all your little buddies skulking around to anoint Cody Rhodes, you set this up for Cody to face this guy. Hello again, Miz. I thought about your offer to come to SmackDown if I did okay against Dom and then lost to KO. I decided to beat him instead. Oh, and Braun too. Looks like I made the right choice including you in this tournament. Oh, look at the Mutual Admiration Society. Can you really not see what's going on here, kid? A qualifying match? Owens? Strowman? You're getting the hell kicked out of you so Regal can put his boy Cody on the throne. He is using you. Yeah, he is using me. To main event SummerSlam, Miz. I'm cool with it. Whatever. I'm done with both of you. You cannot get away with stealing the WWE Universal Championship from SmackDown, Regal. I believe I just have. Against all odds, he's here to compete in the tournament finals. The following is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Making his way to the ring from Iowa, weighing in at 221 pounds. Uh, It's been an impressive one-night showing so far, but why stop here? He wants to finish the story against the man who coined the phrase, Cody Rhodes. Easier said than done, Saxton. Cody's had a shorter and smoother ride to the finals. This is going to be a one-sided fight. achieve his dreams by being a nightmare to his opponent. Looks like he's really embracing the significance of this pivotal moment. Soaking in and cherishing each passing second. I'm sure he is. He's not just walking to the ring. He's taking the final steps of a very long journey to get here. Hold on to your sunglasses and beach towels. It's time for a SummerSlam Stravaganza.
Feel the atmosphere. Everyone's on pins and needles. The WWE Universe knows just how much this title means. Many believe that Cody Rhodes is a lock to win the WWE Universe. Championship tonight. The dark horse of the tournament is the last man standing in his path. No, oh, things would be different if Roman Reigns hadn't walked away, but it sure does look like the WWE Universal title is in Rhodes' grasp. After all you've seen tonight, you're still counting this man out? There are only so many banana peels his opponents can slip up on, Saxton. Rhodes doesn't make mistakes. For the title! It'll take more than that to hold him down. Turning the tables. Big boot. Vicious. Right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Cody's cut open. But I think he's in his element, guys. Big punch finds its mark. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, driving the elbow. Face wash. Debilitating attack on the leg. And Cody Rhodes is failing to offer any resistance here. Yeah, Cody has to plot a way to get back into this. Ooh, sharp elbow. Jaw shattering boot. And responds with a counter of their own. Coming back in the ring. Yeah. Punishing power slam. Yeah. Off into the pin. Kick out before the refs count. Not yet. Hoist it up. Yeah. Nice suplex. Talk about dismantling your opponent. And Rhodes batters the competition further there. You can really tell that Cody's desperate not to lose control of this match again at this point. Power from the suplex. Getting set up for something in the corner. And an elbow. Right hand drives him out of the corner. Cody Rhodes drives them down with a vertebraker. Quick shot to the jaw. Cody looking for the win. This could do it. Crossroads. Cody Rhodes nailed it. How at this point? You don't even stay down long enough for a one count. It's beyond comprehension. You gotta wonder what more Cody has to do to put him away here. Big forearm. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. Oh, and then the chest as well. And now Rhodes can't stop this momentum. Yeah, some flaws in Cody's game plan are being exposed. Oh. <laughs> Strong Irish whip. Punch. He got rocked there. And Cody didn't see that coming. He takes. 
takes control. Oh, man. He just isn't being given any room to recuperate. He's got to wake up and get in the fight. Scary pattern starting to form as that upper area takes more damage. Now, that'll do some serious damage. Boom! Just punched him right in the mouth. I'm up already. Oh. He's heading back to the ring. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Nasty knee. Incredible pressure being put on Rhodes. Rhodes has to find a way to turn things around. Rhodes gets out of dodge. Super kick. Good night. He got whipped into that corner. down an elbow in retaliation. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Oh, and a stomp. Oh, Cody manages to counter. Springboard up. Now a pin for the championship. Many believe that Cody Rhodes was a lock to win the WWE Universal Championship tonight. The dark horse of the tournament is the last man standing in his path. No, oh, things would be different if Roman Reigns hadn't walked away, but it sure does look like the on the top. Dummy double axe handle. Brutal stomp to the body. And oh, and then the chest as well. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Hung out to dry. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. A familiar, gruesome sight on the face of the American Nightmare. And he gets set back into the ring. Oh, God. Ow. Ooh. Oh, perfect kick. Ooh. Cody Rhodes felt that coming. What is Cody Rhodes looking for here? Oh, my! Delivering the vertebraker. breaker. Is it enough? And a kick out before the count even begins. Going to take a lot more than that. Figure four leg lock applied. Ah, he's in complete control. Trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Big boot. Vicious. Boom. <laughs> what impact. Oh, God. What a shot to the face. Stop anybody. Oh. Boom. Oh, oh. Ouch. Picking the leg. Are we going to see it? There it is. Figure four leg lock. The official asking him, is he going to tap? Is he going to tap out? He's trying to hold on. Trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing.
Superstar showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Oh, super kick! Oh, kick right in the face. Ooh. Oh, man! Splash in the corner. Followed up by a textbook scoop slam. Nicely done. No doubt Cody is having trouble here. Cody's got to find a way to put his best foot forward here. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. with the WWE Universe right now. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. He is hell-bent on putting his opponent away. This has been a grueling battle. What is left? Wait, you don't think he's... The Academy Avalanche Spanish is fine. Cody is losing command in this one. Yeah, Cody's having trouble fighting back. Inflicted. Cody looking to wrap this one up. It really just countered. <laughs> Devastating elbow. Turns it around. Sole of the foot meets the stunt. Using the ropes. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Digging down deep and staying alive. Holy moly, how? Big boot. Vicious. Staved off that attack. Reversal! What a counter! Series of reversals. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their... Cody Rhodes has him set up. Crossroads! Cody Rhodes just might have finished things. Cover! Kicks out before one. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. It looks like Cody is going to have to readjust, maybe strategize here. He thought that was it, but somehow it wasn't. Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. He steers clear of contact. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Strong kick. My goodness.
neck. Rose tied that one. Down with the bulldog. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No way. No way. The pedigree delivered with authority from the American Nightmare. for the championship. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the cap. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, knee drive. Woo! Oh, and an elbow caught him and cleared him to the floor. Oh, the momentum has swung to Cody Rhodes. Cody's getting that unstoppable look in his eyes. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Retaliated with a head-turning clothesline. Just disrespectful. Oh, and then the chest as well. Treading all over their opponent. And he sends him into the corner. Uh oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Stomp to the body. And, oh, and then the chest as well. I don't know if Cody can withstand much more of this. Yeah, Cody has to plot a way to get back into this. Ooh. Rhodes denies the attack. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Long Irish whip. You have to wonder if Cody Rhodes came into this tournament's final match overconfident. I don't think so, Corey. Cody's a veteran. At this point in his career, he's learned not to underestimate any of his opponents. Reversal. And the ref gets taken out. There it is. Cody hit the crossroads. No, the story should be complete. That referee was right in the line of fire, Saxton. Cody sees it. Now checking on the official. You can see the frustration on his face. We got to get another referee down here. Spin for Roman Reigns. What the hell is Roman doing here? Cody 
is hurt, guys, and the official has no idea. I can't believe this. Roman was supposed to be off in Hollywood, but I guess he took a detour. Oh, no. What is Roman thinking? Reigns can't do this. No! Roman Reigns guaranteed that Cody Rhodes would not win the WWE Universal Championship, and the head of the table keeps his promises. No! Not like this! No! Yes, Cole! Yes! It's over! It's over! This is incredible! Roman is the kingmaker! This is criminal! Criminally genius! Look at the smile on Roman's face! I can't believe how we got here. We have a new, undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Undisputed? This guy doesn't even know where he is. Roman's actions here tonight will reverberate throughout the WWE Universe for a very long time. What a SummerSlam, and what a turn of events. Cody, man, I was going to give you a call, but figured we should talk in person. I don't blame you. I know you and Reigns weren't in on it together. He was trying to hurt me, not help you. I appreciate that. At the same time, we both know I had you beat when Reigns attacked me from behind. Is that what we know? One, two, three, four, five. And that's when I got up to check on the ref. I don't need to recap. I was there. And I have the championship to prove it. You took the crossroads, it was over. Look, you hung tough, your time will come, but last night, you were done. Maybe so, but that was last night. Tonight's a different story. How so?
We'd never fought before. Tonight, I know you. That works both ways. No, I mean, I know you. That little panicked freeze you get every time you're under pressure. That worry you're not measuring up to your legacy. That you'll never finish the story. Man, you're not fighting me. You're fighting you. Wow. Turns out it's going to feel pretty good making you a one-night champion with an asterisk by his name. Can you win a title somebody doesn't hand you, Cody? See you out there. It is an absolute crime the position that Roman Reigns has put you in. The cloud now hanging over your reign as WWE Universal Champion belies your effort. I know you fought like hell to win the title. You're damn right I did. I had to compete in an extra match too, and I still made it to the finals and won. Fine achievement that the WWE Universe nonetheless looks askance at. Unfortunately, Reigns beat Cody as much as you did. Perhaps more. People think Cody would have won? Great. Tonight we face each other again, one on one. I am ready to prove to you and the WWE Universe that I deserve to carry the title. Good lad. You can't let the world define you. You have to define yourself. And now, I'm going to define myself as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Love to hear it. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's a very busy night with the draft starting. Good luck. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship!
the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes looking to continue his dominance in WWE. Competing at his highest level, striving for the main event, and the biggest prize. The Rhodes name means he was born with this business in his blood. He's finally been able to tap into that, and we are now witnessing his full capabilities. Indeed, Corey, the American nightmare has become a reality. For everything Rhodes has accomplished during his tenures in WWE, he's made his mark across the wrestling world. Every promotion he stepped foot in has been transformed for the better, thanks to the American nightmare. But we all know he's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE. It's the brand new, undisputed, WWE Universal Champion. Do we have to call this guy undisputed? After Roman Reigns handed him the title at SummerSlam, he's very much disputed. The finals were full of controversy, but the champion did win the tournament and has another opportunity to prove himself tonight. handoff to the referee won't be the last time he sees his championship the most glorious title in the world of sports entertainment with Roman Reigns back in Hollywood we can finally settle the WWE Universal Championship controversy once and for all that's right by getting the title to the right guy if this is anything like the tournament finals Cody Rhodes is going to make quick work of the so-called champion I'll admit that the champ is the underdog in this match, but after his night at SummerSlam, I am done underestimating him. Uh-oh. And Cody Rhodes reverses. He knows how to avoid contact. Firm control. Oh, kick to the face. And Cody's resolve might be wavering here. Cody Rhodes has to trust his instincts at this point. Look out! Suicide dive! A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. <laughs> Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Thrown back in under the ropes. 
Big forearm. Super kick. Bang. And bang. Never saw it coming. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Super kick. Brutal stomp to the body. And oh, and then the chest as well. Boom. Super kick. And he continues to mount on the pressure. That's what he does. Keep on the attack. Stomping. Ouch. Rhodes and the Dark Horse jockeying for position here. Stop! Stop the damn match! What is Miz doing out here? I said, stop this unsanctioned match. That's right, unsanctioned. I'm so sorry to ruin his lordship's plan, but Raw's Royal General Manager, William Regal, seems to have forgotten something. What is Miz talking about? Unsanctioned? Regal forgot that I had the first pick in the draft. So this conspiracy to steal the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for Raw ends tonight. He's not going to do this in the middle of his huge match, is he? The WWE Universal Champion has been drafted to SmackDown. Effective immediately. Miz can't do this. He just did, Saxton, and it's brilliant. Come on. Get out of the ring and grab your bags. It's time to go to your new home. Cheer up, Rhodes. I'm sure Regal will give you another chance at the World Heavyweight Championship. Regal doesn't look happy. Speak of the devil. Have a look, Regal. All the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed. That's what I thought. Now tell my WWE Universal Champion to get out of that ring and pack his bags. I'm afraid Mr. Mazanin is correct. This rematch is canceled. And the undisputed WWE Universal Champion is bound for SmackDown. A huge change in the geography of WWE has just taken place in the middle of this championship match. Good luck countering that move in the draft, Regal. Miz just told the whole Raw audience, you want excitement, you come to SmackDown. While a huge question mark continues to hang over the Dark Horse champion. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion has arrived at SmackDown. Without Regal and Reigns, this guy would be working at the concession stand. That's more than an exaggeration, Corey. He put on a show at SummerSlam, and I, for one, think SmackDown got a steal in the draft. Yeah, we'll see.
Miz. Good to see you too, champ. Come on, what's with the boo-boo face? When I'm the one who liberated you from his lordship. I didn't need liberating. But let's skip the pleasantries. You wanted the WWE Universal Champion on SmackDown. Here I am. What I wanted is the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The champion can be anyone who understands what it means to represent the most must-see sports entertainment show on Earth. You think you're that guy? What I think is that I'm my own man, and the WWE Universe will come along with me or they won't. I'm not doing dog and pony shows for anyone. You might be your own man, but you are playing in my sandbox. And you can play big, bad, counterfeit, stone cold all you want, but you will quickly realize you're just making your life harder. I've never been one for the easy way. Good. That's the perfect attitude for your very first SmackDown main event. Since you were so ready to face Cody Rhodes on Raw, I can only assume you are ready for Kevin Owens tonight. I beat KO in the tournament, and I will gladly beat him again. Excellent! And just a heads up, I might come see your match in person. You know, just an impartial observer to get a closer look at the champion I drafted. Absolutely no other reason at all. See you out there! The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. He's known much more for cold stares than warm welcomes. It's Kevin Owens. I'm sure KO is feeling lucky for the chance to redeem himself after losing focus the last time these two faced off. He must be absolutely salivating at the opportunity to expose the new title holder as nothing more than a paper champion. It's not every day you get a chance to rectify your mistakes this quickly. It's SmackDown's newest acquisition. You gotta give credit to SmackDown general manager The Miz for making sure the blue brand wasn't left without a champion after what happened at SummerSlam. Despite my feelings on the quality of said champion, yes, I agree. Thank you, Miz, for doing a wonderful job.
Introducing the challenger from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin. And his opponent from Iowa, weighing in at 221 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion of Hina. I have a feeling we're about to see a classic, gentlemen. You can see the desire in these competitors' eyes reflected right back at them in the shine of that championship's goal. The Miz is wasting no time with his new acquisition. We have a WWE Universal Championship match right here, right now, on SmackDown. I'm smelling a title change here. KO's a hard man to beat. He's even harder to beat twice. Not that he needs it with the title at stake, but Owens will definitely have some extra motivation after losing to the champ in the opening round at SummerSlam. Owens was scouted there. Big boot. Vicious. Oh, ouch. Grabbing a hold of the arm. Oh, drop. The champ targeting that arm. If the challenger can't defend or strike, they're going to be in a hazardous situation. The WWE Universe giving him an extra shot of adrenaline. Oh, my goodness, what a knee strike. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Oh, a knee right to the face. Owens running into some trouble. Owens needs to find an opening. Great. Our GM Miz is here to distract the Dark Horse. He's scouting his new champion. There's a difference. O'Connor will go for the win. Miz are down for the victory. He is still very much in this. Can't quite get him there. Big overhand. What's he gonna do? That's insane! Diving corkscrew moonsaw! He is efficient and dangerous with his offense thus far. He's being consistent. This superstar looking to flex their power way up high into a sit-out choke slam. I think the champ's got it. Two! Got the shoulder up. This puts the pressure back on the champion. Can the champion respond with their back against the wall? Just dished out his most... Incoming! Leaping high! For the win! Two! Forces the shoulder up after two. And you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Oh, and then the chest as well. Owens at the mercy of his opponent. Owens is getting shut down at every turn. Just breaking down the opponent. Systematic attack on that arm. Vicious. And what's he looking for here? Bringing a steel chair into play here. What a hit from Owens. Good timing with that reversal. Ooh. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Big boot. Vicious. The challenger being outclassed here. This is a very dangerous situation now. Yeah, Kale will have something new to complain about if things stay this way. He's been complaining about your commentary for years, Saxton. And he's able to counter. This superstar looking to flex their power way up. 
into a sit-out choke slam. Another one bites the dust to the champ. That's insane! Diving corkscrew moonsault! Interesting decision here, Corey. I don't know. I kind of like it. He clearly wants to inflict some more punishment. Take off! The Miz is wasting no time with his new acquisition. We have a WWE Universal Championship match right here, right now, on SmackDown. I'm smelling a title change here. KO's a hard man to beat. He's even harder to beat twice. Not that he needs it with the time at stake, but Owens will definitely have some extra motivation after losing to the champ in the opening round at SummerSlam. Stomp to the body. And oh, and then the chest as well. Oh, foot just stomping down. Oh, man. Oof. Boom. Boom. Oh, God, that hurt. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the Oh, great. Our GM Miz is here to distract the Dark Horse. He's scouting his new champion. There's a difference. Rolled up from behind, looking to end it here. The champion into the cover. The challenger doesn't even allow a one count. Just powered out. Ooh. It's not looking good for Owens. Owens is under the gun. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Ooh, elbow strike. Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. the mark. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh, my God. for their trouble. That takes them down. Owens at the mercy of his opponent. Owens just can't find any breathing room. KO getting rolled up here. And that will do it. Another flash win for the WWE Universal Champion. Wait, what is Miz doing? Interception by the champion. Talk about a backfire. And now KO's begging for mercy. Come on, this is unnecessary. Come on. Chair to the gut. This is an all-out assault. Our GM Miz is the one who introduced the chair in the first place. Maybe he thought the champ needed to take a seat after a tiresome match. We don't know. So how do you explain this? Miz looks like a kid caught with his hand in the cookie jar with that table. So much for being an impartial observer. Run, Miz. Get out of there. Looks like the champion might take advantage of that table Miz set up. Another backfire for our GM. He better not go through with this. And down through the table. 
table. Yes. Kevin Owens is absolutely laid out. Miz tried to involve himself in this match and managed to hoist himself by his own petard. The WWE Universal Champion has come to SmackDown, and he's making a statement to Miz, KO, in the entire WWE Universe. Yeah, well, take a look in the Miz's eyes, Cole. That champion's going to regret this. What the hell, Miz? Impartial observer? You were passing chairs, setting up tables. I'm surprised you didn't chuck a ladder at me for good measure. Turns out the situation called for a partial observer. It's what's best for the image of the brand. And that would be Kevin Owens? What does he have that I don't? KO's exciting, unpredictable. Yeah, he's a little rough around the edges, but Maurice has her stylist working on a makeover, and there's this amazing jacket being tailored. Look, the point is, KO has promised to be The Miz's undisputed WWE Universal Champion, and that's what matters. Believing a word KO tells you is your first mistake. And more importantly, I've beaten your poster boy. Twice now. Beaten him with a chair. Put him through a table. You mentioned a ladder earlier. Well, let's go there. At Clash at the Castle, you will put the WWE Universal title on the line against KO in a TLC match. Fine. I'm going to walk into that match with my title, and I'll walk out with it, too. No, no, no. You will not walk in with the WWE Universal title because it will be hanging high above the ring, right where it belongs. Out of your reach. A lot's changed since the last time we spoke in an empty arena. Indeed. That night I gave you an opportunity, and you took full advantage. I guess. Most everyone in the WWE Universe thinks Roman Reigns won me the title, and KO only beat himself to get me there. There will always be doubters. Every WWE Universal Champion will be in the shadow of Roman Reigns in one way or another. At least until someone can break the record with the title. Well, that's pretty much an impossible goal. Perhaps. My point is that you should take it a step at a time. You'll be the dark horse until one day you turn around and someone calls you the favorite. I think that might be a ways off. I'll just have to keep winning. 
A dominant victory over Owens tonight will go a long way towards answering that question in SmackDown's locker room, if not with its general manager. Miz can be a real tosser. <laughs> Quite right. But it seems to me that he has also given you an opportunity to prove he and the doubters wrong. That's what being a champion is, huh? A constant battle to prove you deserve your spot at the top of the card. Indeed it is, my boy. Indeed it is. does not look happy tonight. Introducing the challenger from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! Throughout his career, KO has let it be known he will fight anyone, anywhere. Truly, Kevin Owens has no hint of fear in his being. Being a Grand Slam champion, you know Owens has accomplished it all, and he's still giving every match his all. Well, it's just the kind of guy KO is. And it doesn't matter what he's accomplished in the past, it's all about his future. It's the Warrior who's followed a dusty trail from the fringes to the spotlight. And introducing the champion from Iowa. Weighing in at 221 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the And just listen to that crowd. He's a Universal Champion who is quickly becoming universally beloved. More like universally overrated. The fans may adore him now, but let's see how long that love affair lasts. The champ's next challenge starts now. As the undisputed WWE Universal Championship literally hangs in the balance, the fresh champion looks to prove himself again against Kevin Owens. Well, not just Kevin Owens, it's Kevin Owens plus tables, ladders, and chairs. I'm no mathematician, but that adds up to a bad night for the champ. Both of these men will leave with bruises tonight, but only one will be leaving with that championship. Oh, God, knee meets face. is getting knocked around a bit. Owens needs to find an opening. Neck breaker. Ouch. Brutal knee right to the face. Big boots. The challenger's looking shaken. Firm control. Oh, geez. Nasty kick to the face. Boom. Boom on the jaw. He deflects it right back. Had that 
one scouted. Oh, man. Obviously hoping to take things to the next level with this ladder. Heading back to the ring. And I can't tell where exactly it's coming from, but Kevin is bleeding pretty badly now. It's not looking good for Owens. Owens is getting shut down at every turn. Oh, what a kick. Great thinking to stop Owens. Just breaking down the opponent. Big four. Challenger is not in a great place. Yeah, Cole, but I don't think this will affect anyone's chances at this stage in the TLC match. Nice clothesline. Comes down across the head with the axe handle. Wicked kick to the face. the attack. He manages to escape it. Missed timing with that springboard. I'll never forget watching Paul Heyman utter the immortal words, tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh, my! DDT! The champ now absorbing a little damage. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. To the outside. This could get wild. He's setting it up on the ring apron right now. You've got to wonder what he has in mind here. He'll take things into the ring. Using the ladder as a weapon. Ouch. Straight across the ladder. Definitely not on the top. Able to get out of the way. KO with the torture rack applied. Into the neck breaker. Ouch. Nice clothesline. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. Ooh, point of the elbow counters that. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Simple waist lock countered into a nice arm drag. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Fighting back with a counter. Right to the kidneys from behind. What a hit from Owens. right now from all those chants and cheers. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Position 
positions him up on the ladder. A dangerous spot to be on the top. Oh, what a collision. He's got to be worried about his own ribs after that one. From ring post to ring. Side risking it all paid off. He saw it coming. Hoisted up, double underhook. Weaves out into a clothesline. Great escape by Owens. Brutal stomp to the body. And followed up by another to the chest. Really just laying it in. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. He's setting up the ladder now. But can he get up there in time? That's the question. at the mercy of his opponent. Owens is under the gun. Big boot. Vicious. A well-timed dodge. Snap suplex. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Hooked up. DDT. Here it comes. Brought down with a neck breaker. Oh, weakening the leg here. Shot to the door. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. KO has him all tied up. Sit out package power bomb. And Kevin Owens willing himself to stay in this matchup. KO refusing to be held down and accept defeat. Brawling his way to the upper hand. Each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. Oh, and then the chest as well. Target in the arm now. KO is getting knocked around a bit. Owens needs to fight him. Right in the face. My God. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Owens is going to look to press on the advantage. Yeah, he's getting some newly determined focus. On the way to the top of the ladder. Climb. Go for it. Climb. He's trying for it now. Got to act fast. Huge spot in this match right here, guys. Owens gets control. I don't believe it. Hanging on with a death grip. Please don't fall. If you ask me, not if they can win it right here, though. Power bomb. Owens at the mercy of his opponent. Owens needs to find an opening. Boom! Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. Turns to the ring. Ooh. 
Looks to me like that ladder's positioned perfectly in the center of the ring. Now he just got to climb, and he's closing in on the victory here. Reach out your hand and seize your destiny. Gonna need a better grip on that. Yeah, no way that's coming down. Oh, my God, hanging on for dear life. No letting go now. And he has free reign to the outside with no countouts to worry about. Setting foot in the ring now. Big back body draw. Oh, you see that height on that? Fought back with a punch to the gut. Oh, knee smashing the face. Taking this one back to the ring now. Whoa! Just tossing that table around like it was nothing. Setting it up in perfect position, too. Oh. Taking this outside. This could be good. This superstar looking to flex their power. Sit out, choke slam. That's how you take the competition out of the equation. And this might be just the right time to climb the ladder of success. Looks like that ladder set up perfectly in the center of the ring. Looking on hook. Looking for the win. Here we go. Going for it all. I love it. And the champ retains. Look at the size of this man. Seven foot three inches tall, 400 pounds. The true colossus of WWE. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria. Weighing in at 400 pounds. The Nigerian giant. The size of Omos must be seen to be believed. 
looms over the entire ring and the locker room for that matter. Omos is just as powerful as he is towering. You're right about that one, Saxton. Omos truly is one guy you don't, under any circumstance, ever want to mess with. Look at Omos. He steps right over the top rope like normal people step over the curb. Now oh, that's a good way, Byron, to set the tone of this match. Galloping into history, defying all odds. It's the Dark Horse. And his opponent from Iowa, weighing in at 221 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion of There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think the Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? There's nothing left to do but saddle up and get this one started. The bell sounds and it's on. Omos is such a mammoth that he makes most of his opponents look like children. With an 18 quadruple E boot size, an 87 inch reach, and 14 and a half inch hands, destruction comes from everywhere. Omos is a behemoth. He was truly one of one. No one on earth has that combination of size, speed, and power like the Nigerian giant. And he'll be squaring off against the champ. While he holds the title, sometimes I question his worthiness for that gold, Saxton. Tell me, why wouldn't he put the title on the line here tonight? Well, I could think of a million reasons, Corey, but those don't matter. He's the champ. And... These are two larger-than-life superstars perched on the ropes. I hope they reinforce the ring. Oh, my God! And the official calls it. Clearly, they cannot fight any longer. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Yeah. 
A modern marvel not to be messed with. An absolute force of nature. We are looking at a confident, angry, malicious Nigerian giant. It is scary how Omas only gets better and more dangerous with each match. We are about to witness destruction on a whole other level. And that destruction is Omas's idea of fun. It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. A once forgotten man who is now etched in the annals of WWE history. This is inspiration personified. Sure, but he better be careful or he might find out what happens when an underdog becomes overrated. It usually doesn't end well for him. Introducing the challenger from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant, Omas! And his opponent from Iowa, weighing in at 221 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion of That's what it's all about, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The WWE Universe knows all about the history, the lineage, everything that goes into the importance of this match. The stakes are higher than ever as Omos challenges the dark horse for the WWE Universal Championship. And we've got to be ready for anything after their last match brought the house and the ring down. I've been assured precautions have been taken, so one of these superstars will be the only thing taken down. Looking wobbly in the corner. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Ooh. Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Uh, stop right there, gut. A calculated attack here against Omas. Omas has to weather a storm here. Avoiding contact. Not the position you want to be in right now. Scoop slam sets things up. Omas just mocking him now. What's coming next? Taking their time. Oh, punch to the gut. I'll take the wind right out of you. Taking things way too far. Dangerous move, showing there's nothing they won't do to gain the upper hand against the champion. Counters that. Savage knee to the face. Arm ringer applied and look out. Oh. Ooh. 
Oh, my, looking evasive. He wants even more out of his opponent. He is looking to do some serious harm. Bam! Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Guy, we see it. You're very scary. Super kick! He reverses it. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Ooh, what a nasty kick. That's disrespectful. Big boot. Vicious. Taking it outside the ring now. Kick right to the face. Everything working against Omas now. Yeah, Omas has to plot a way to get back into this. This superstar looking to flex their power. Sit out, choke slam. A championship level move. Brutal stomp to the body. And he is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxony Mike. With a championship on the line. That's it. The champ 
stays the champ. Here is your winner. And still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion of Hina. if it isn't the champ. This is a fun surprise. They didn't tell you I was coming? Huh. Anyway, just down to do the honors and cut the ribbon on the new Dark Horse ring. The what now? The ring you're naming after me. To inspire the recruits. What? <laughs> Get ridiculously swollen heads? I mean, why stop at a ring? Maybe we should rename WrestleMania Dark Horses Wrestling Rodeo. Uh, okay. I think there's been a bit of a mix-up. Yeah. Last I checked, one lucky win doesn't make you wrestling royalty, even if it did happen in a title match. Lucky? You're saying I got lucky? Uh, 
I'm saying, you've spent the majority of your time here as a mid-tier superstar. I'm gonna base my opinion of you on that. Not the five minutes you've been champion. No one's taken the title off me yet. Oh, between the parking lot and here? Wow, impressive. I'm not hiding from anybody. Maybe you should. Your luck could run out just as fast as fortune smiled on you. I mean, no offense, but I'm training guys here who could give you a run for your money. Pick your best one and have him meet me in the ring. Sure. I just hope you can find it without your name being on it. Hey, when did you get in? This morning. Now, care to explain why I just flew down to Florida to embarrass myself and convince a whole class of trainees that I have an ego bigger than your bosses? Apparently, the WWE social media account got hacked and reached out to various superstars via DM, you being one of them. It's a massive disaster. We've all got to start using this two-factor authentication stuff. There's an app and a little dongle thing I've got to plug into my computer. I have to change my password now because Troy Demand 1996 doesn't have symbols in it or something. And you have a champion who got embarrassed by fake messages, remember? How could I forget? 
You're the one who got us into this whole mess. You're blaming me for this? No, but kind of. I mean, do you give money to every Nigerian prince who slides into your DMs? You should have smelled something fishy there. And now everybody in the company, including me, has to go through all this hassle just because you were too gullible to realize you were getting matfished. The messages came from the official WWE account. Yeah. And it's a good thing they didn't ask you to pay for your travel by sending in random gift cards. Look, you're not the first wrestler to do something remarkably stupid. But when Seth Rollins got himself sprayed in the face with green slime, it really only affected him and a couple people in janitorial. You basically sprayed the entire company in the face with green slime. So don't be surprised if you're not everyone's favorite champion right now. Great. Thanks, Troy. You're welcome. And before you leave today, make sure to pick up that dongle. Here comes pure Irish trouble. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. Trained by Finn Balor, inherited that same killer instinct. And McDonough's absolutely not here to make friends. He's here just to fight and win. I don't think JD could make a friend even if he tried. Well, if JD's the Irish ace, I guess that makes you the Joker, Saxton. Or maybe that rules card that everyone just throws out. It's a superstar who couldn't be denied and now electrifies the WWE Universe. And his opponent from Iowa, weighing in at 221 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion of well, the way this guy stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. 
His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more you have to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. The reins are off, and it is on. There is no title, but a lot of pride on the line as the Dark Horse looks for redemption tonight against digital trickster J.D. McDonough. McDonough doesn't seem like he knows how to set the clock on his microwave, let alone pull off a sophisticated internet scam. It's not hard to send a DM, but it really shouldn't be that easy to fall for one either. The Dark Horse better hope he can do something in the ring to make us forget his stupidity outside of it. Caught with the boot. So much damage inflicted. Break in the face. My God. Consecutive attacks keeping McDonough off his game. JD needs to be resourceful in this situation. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Looked like JD's focus got rattled there. He moved, but can he keep the rise? Oh, right on the arm. Not good. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Followed up by another to the chest. Oh, my Lord. Oh, shot to the jaw. And he's taking on a persistent assault. In this situation, he has to get resourceful. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Producing a trampling. Oh, man. Boom. Oh, what a kick. Oh. Superstar looking to flex their power way up high into a sit-out choke slam. Is that all she wrote for McDonough? That's insane! Diving corkscrew moonsault! Cover! Two count! An emphatic victory! The Dark Horse is on a roll. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. McDonough can't let this loss get him down, though. Even though things didn't go his way, he came in prepared and dangerous. And as vindictive as he can be, we know this isn't the end.
Well, well, well. All hail the conquering hero. <sighs> Troy. What's got you so excited? Other than I finally got that promotion to producer? Probably the fact that your stock is on the rise, too. The response to your TLC match with KO was off the charts, and you've been on a roll ever since. I know my boss Miz has been taking notice. Okay, so what do you and Miz have for me tonight? Network sweeps are coming up, so we need to pop a big rating. And with your newfound popularity around the office, Miz has something very special planned for his undisputed WWE Universal Champion. That is the kind of cryptic answer that makes me uneasy. And when I'm uneasy, I get on edge. And when I'm on edge, that makes me want to go out there and create some chaos. Do you want me to create some chaos, Troy? Yes! That's exactly the kind of programming we want during sweeps. So head out to the ring, and we'll get to see how your chaos and Mrs. Big Surprise play out. Troy, I will head to the ring, and I don't care what Miz has up his sleeve. I'm going to tell your boss exactly what I think of him, and his big plan for sweeps. Great! Sounds like raiding! According to backstage sources, The Miz has something special planned for the WWE Universal Champion. That Miz is willing to let bygones be bygones after all this guy has done is honestly inspiring. What a leader. I haven't been on SmackDown very long. But if there's one thing I've learned, it's that when our GM has a must-see announcement, it's generally bad news for me. So, Miz, I'm not gonna sit back and wait for you to try to pull one over on me. Whatever big surprise you have planned, I'm ready for it. Right now! Gotta admire the champion trying to do things on his own terms. Come on, Miz! What do you got? If Miz was expecting to intimidate him, doesn't seem to be working. Hellfire and Brimstone! It's Kane! Talk about a big surprise! It's the Big Red Machine! But where is he? Kane is in the ring! With a huge right hand! Kane's got him by the throat! Oh no! Say goodnight, champ! Low blow from the champion! Where the heck is he going? When you're on the defensive against Kane, anything goes! They say winning a title puts a target on your back, and here's a man who has stepped up to take that challenge. A oh, bear hug, squeezing the foot. Hey, tap out, really? <laughs> and the title is not on the line, but the champion looks as ready as ever. Now, I'm not going to lie. I had written this competitor off from pretty much jump. But their title win proved me wrong, and that's not something that happens often. Well, we all know it, Cody. Nonetheless, tonight is a huge test for this title holder. Well, across the way, I cannot think of a superstar who enjoys inflicting pain on his opponents as much as Kane does. Well, if you love what you do, Saxton, you never work a day in your life. That's clearly Kane's approach to things when the bell rings, as twisted as that may be. Back in the ring now, taking this to the floor. Oh, and the chair projected right to their face. Ooh, clothesline delivered. He's back into the ring. Ooh, shut that chair right out. A steady stream of moves taking out Kane. The Big Red Monster showing weakness here. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Gets inside the ring. Oh, taking a nasty hit. 
from a flying chair. Oh! I don't think Kane expected that kind of destruction to come his way. Sent straight into the barricade. Gets him with the counter. Yeah, Kane's survival instincts are taking over. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. The big red machine. He's now under heavy pressure. Kane has to turn this around and quick. He gets back into the ring. No! Out of the ring. What's his plan here? With the Irish whip. Kane reverses it. Oh, my goodness. Did you hear the ring steps? They heard that in Syracuse. Stop trying to suck up the coal, Saxton. This has to stop. The WWE Universal Champion needs medical attention. No, not this. Not the choke slam on the steel steps. Straight to hell, champ. This is horrific. It serves him right. He said he was ready for whatever Miz had planned. That kind of hubris has consequences. Speaking of consequences, you have to wonder if the Miz understands the ramifications of what he's unleashed. I don't think he does. The Big Red Machine has his demented eyes set on becoming the next WWE Universal Champion. Buckle up. This is going to be one hell of a ride. Uh, hey Dom, what's up? I know things started out rough between us going for the WWE Universal title. It was dog eat dog, but I get it, because it was just like that in the yard back when I was in the joint. I, uh, sure thing, man. Water under the bridge. This thing Miz has going on with you and Kane, it ain't right. But I think I might know a way you can take care of that big red freak. I am definitely open to some advice. Especially since I hear Miz is going to announce a title match against Kane. Glad you're willing to listen, but not here. Miz has got stooges creeping everywhere. You want my help with Kane? 
meet me out in the parking lot. I'll keep that in mind. Lita actually offered to help me out too. Seems like you gotta make a choice then. Get help from Kane's old flame or fight fire with real fire. Me. I appreciate you, Dom, but Kane and Lita have history. I'm gonna see what she has in mind. Suit yourself, but just remember, when Kane beats you down and takes your title, you could have prevented it. Too bad. Lita, I appreciate you helping me out against Kane, but why are we going to Mexico? What does this have to do with anything? Listen, I got my start in Mexico, and I ended up wrestling in some pretty out-of-the-way places. Dark, dangerous places. Okay. So long before I came to WWE and met Kane, I encountered a similar monster out in the jungles of Lacondon. They called him La Llama Roja, or the Red Flame. Are you messing with me? Not at all. I made some calls that I found him. So we're going to Mexico because if you can survive the flame, you might be able to defeat my dear ex-husband. That sounds like a pretty big if.
Great risks, greater rewards. Come on, let's go on an adventure, kid.
The red flame was everything you said, Lita. My whole body is basically a bruise. La Yalmaroja is a legend, a monster. And as rough as you're feeling right now, Yeah. It's gonna be worse with Kane, especially now that it's a casket match. Can't wait. If you beat Kane at his own game, it'll go a long way to earn the respect of the WWE Universe. And now you know the kind of effort it's going to take to do it. It'll take everything I got. And then some. Which is why when grit and determination aren't enough to put Kane in a casket, maybe you use a little something extra. Such as? Check your bag when you get to SmackDown. When you use them, tell Kane his ex says hello. An abomination straight out of a nightmare. Yeah, but that seven feet, 300 pounds of real life flesh and bone built for destruction. The big red machine ready to make the ring his ghoulish playground. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Kane is planning to take sick pleasure in doing so. Galloping into history, defying all odds. It's the Dark Horse. And just listen to that crowd. He's a universal champion who is quickly becoming universally beloved. More like universally overrated. The fans may adore him now, but let's see how long that love affair lasts.
There are no pinfalls, submissions, disqualifications, or countouts. The only way to win is for a superstar to force their opponent inside of the casket. After closing the casket lid shut, the remaining superstar will be declared the winner. Now, let the match begin. Introducing the challenger from Parts Unknown, weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! And his opponent from Iowa, weighing in at 221 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion of... The championship of all championships and the biggest prize in WWE. Possession of this title puts you in a league of your own. No matter how many times I've seen a casket match, they still make me feel a little uneasy. Could you imagine being trapped in one of those? That's a natural reaction, Cole, but here's the freaky part. Kane sees that casket and he gets excited. He loves it. The champ hasn't faced anything like this in his career. Is this the night his championship is put to rest? Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. Oh, look at this, arm wrench, bang! So accurate. Going for a power slam, steps down from behind into an inverted DDT. Oh! Kick lands. Just punched him right in the mouth with a relentless right in the face. My God. Ooh, stiff punch. Oh, ouch. Devastating kick. Ooh. Well placed kick. You can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. What do they have? What? Oh! Into the ring now. Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. A steady stream of moves taking out Kane. It really looks like Kane's struggling right now. Super kick! Oh. 
You can see the anguish growing on his face. He's got to reevaluate his approach at this point. Jarring impact. He's channeling the crowd's energy. Sends their opponent into the casket. Shut the lid and it's over. Doing their best to try and close the... And they're able to fight their way out of the casket. They can't be human. That's ridiculous. He climbs into the ring. This superstar looking to flex their power way up high into a sit-out choke slam. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Shoulder tucked right into the casket. Just shut the lid and win the thing. The Big Red Machine is now under heavy pressure. The Big Red Monster. Well, we've got a struggle on our hands to close the casket. They may survive. They're fighting back. made it out of the casket. And returning to the ring. He's got him scouted. And Kane isn't looking helpless anymore. Yeah, but Kane needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. My, oh my, what elevation. He just keeps dealing out punishment with every move. Nothing is going to stop him now. Good defense. Pulls. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Getting him into the corner, and he's able to fight Kane off. He got tired of being pushed around and wants to gain the advantage now. He'll head to the ring. Paying it right back with a reversal. And he said, it. as the grip walked in, all the way up, sit out, choke slam. This is the moment. This has to be it. And waiting ringside is a nice, that's insane. Kane is losing grip on this match right now. Yeah, it really looks like Kane's struggling right now. Flying! You gotta be kidding me! They got all of that. Just taking flight and soaring through the sky. Kane turns it around. Crucial turnaround there because Kane was falling behind. Yeah, Kane's survival instincts are taking over. And look at Kane now, perching himself up top. He has him right where he wants him. From the top, and a dummy close line. Incredible move. Superstar. How the hell did they survive? And back in the ring we go. Big boot. Vicious. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. He turns it around. DDT. Arn Ringer. Their opponent in a compromising position, but. But this opponent still fighting back. Delicious power slam.
the hammer. Right on the lower back. Discus Lariat. Kane prevents the attack from connecting. Oh, my Lord. What a punch. And just check out the face of Kane after that. What a shot. Oh, smashing the jaw. Great counter. Waist lock applied, but their opponent. Big right hand. Big boot. Vicious. A steady stream of moves taking out Kane. The Big Red Monster showing weakness here. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. He catches Kane with a counter. Prime opportunity now for him to get some separation and gather himself. Placing them into the corner. Wicked clothesline. This one is headed outside, guys. Clearly thinking a steel chair is what's needed right about now. And now gets tossed into the ring. Oh, my Lord. Oh, what a right. Man, that's some attitude behind it. This superstar looking to flex their power way up high into a sit-out choke slam. This is the time to get them in the casket and try to win this thing. It's about to get very dark in there. Trying to force the casket close to end this thing. There's no way they're going to prevent Doomsday here. Thankfully. Re-entering the ring now. As the grip locked in all the way up. Sit out. Choke slam. But champions need to finish the job. Ouch. And a shoulder tackle sends them into a waiting casket. This one could be over soon. Can they close the casket? But the, the opponent is trying to fight back. It's a battle of wills here. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion laid Kane to rest once and for all. I can't believe he defeated the Big Red Machine at his own game. What an incredible victory here tonight. Sure, but let's not gloss over the fact he cheated to do it. Come on, Corey. Whoa, wait, what's going on? It's Roman Reigns. Bravo, congratulations. The Dark Horse manages to win another race. And I didn't even have to win it for you this time. Did you forget? You're only standing there because of me. The locker room hasn't forgotten. The WWE Universe hasn't. And they won't. You can hold my WWE Universal title for a year. Two years. Why not three? It doesn't matter. You're just a tenant. I'm the landlord. You're holding something that doesn't belong to you because its owner has other interests. For now. Later, Chip. Was that really necessary from Roman Reigns? I detected no lies, Cole. Roman Reigns somehow just made a huge win for the WWE Universal Champion feel like a loss.
What's next, boss? You got Isaac Yankum in your contacts? Oh, yes. What a huge and impressive victory. Clearly, Roman Reigns was in awe of your incredible performance. Easy to talk smack from the sidelines, isn't it? The ego on you. You've been in the show for a hot minute, got a few lucky breaks, and all of a sudden, you think you're a legend? It's not about what I think. It's about what I am. And that's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, whether you like it or not. But next week, the week after, the next PLE, Roman said it himself. You're just champion. For now. I don't care what Roman or anyone else says. You just keep setting them up, I'll keep knocking them down. And after all was said and done, Becky Lynch won the WWE Women's Championship. The man is once again the man, and the WWE Universe could not be happier. The same can't be said on Raw, where the World Heavyweight Championship has been moving around like a hot potato. Well, if you want championship consistency, look no further than SmackDown. General Manager The Miz has been obsessed with dethroning the WWE Universal Champion, but the man many call the Dark Horse has now become the Work Horse, turning back every challenge. If he successfully defends the title against Drew McIntyre in a Falls Count Anywhere match at SummerSlam, he will have been champion for a full year. Speaking of championship streaks, Gunter will look to continue his amazing run as the longest running intercontinental champion of all time at SummerSlam when he defends his title. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship.
Here comes the Scottish Warrior. A man whose mean streak grows by the day. McIntyre answers to no one and fights only for himself. Yeah, Drew is hell-bent on having his arm raised tonight, and I would not want to be the one to stand in his way. The Scottish warrior has earned every bit of respect he is given. He's transformed from the chosen one to a real life fire breathing dragon. Yeah, the WWE is the Scottish warrior's battleground and he will go face to face with absolutely anyone. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail through WWE. It just goes to show you, you can't judge a book by its cover, and you can't judge a wrestler by where they start their career. Match after match, the dark horse is turning doubters into believers. The doubts are probably the very thing that fueled him. He really should be thanking those of us who didn't have his back. Introducing the challenger from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. And his opponent from Iowa, weighing in at 221 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Everything has led to this for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The stakes do not get any higher than... This has the champ reaches 365 days with his title. Can you think of a champion who's had a tougher year? Oh, he's getting it from all sides. The Miz has won the title off of him since day one. No one said this would be easy. I'm shocked the so-called Dark Horse has had the title for a year. Almost a year? He has to get past Drew McIntyre tonight in this brutal Falls Count Anywhere match. Stop in the leg. McIntyre is getting dismantled. Drew doesn't usually allow his opponents to gain this much confidence. Oh, 
man. And again in the other direction. The challenger eating up some damage. Oh, what a knee. Ooh. Drew fending him off. Big boot. Vicious. Taking this match off the mat now. That's insane. All the way to the outside. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. He's been quickly taking control here. This could be his moment. Launched with a belly to belly. And he's pulled the ring apron up looking under there for something. Quick return to the ring. Tires looking to the crowd for some support. He finds a counter to McIntyre there. Oh man, he is more than fired up right now. With the reversal. Back into the ring. Oh, a knee right to the face. A bad place to be for the challenger. I was pumped when I saw this match on tonight's card, but so far this Falls Count Anywhere match has exceeded all of my expectations. Just mocking his opponent with that kendo stick now. He leaves the ring and there's no count outs in this one. them aside. Stop in the leg. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Big boot. Vicious. And proving a bit slippery for them there. Oh man, what a boot. He's got the answer for that one. Someone's got to get control of this thing. Oh, no. What could this be? Oh, don't do this. Hung up in the barricade. Get up, big boot. He must have seen that coming. Oh, man. And now McIntyre is being neutralized. Rarely do we see Drew get disassembled like this. He's just taunting his victim now. Kendo stick on the outside. Back suplex onto the barricade. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. Not what you want to see by any means. Taking this moment to tease him with the kendo stick. Whoa! Turn that kendo stick into a long dart. And he can't defend any offense coming his way. He's got to boost up his levels of aggression at this point. Oh, oh. Big boot. Vicious. Great presence of mind by McIntyre. Super kick. Brutal stomp to the body. And, oh, and then the chest as well. Clearly waiting for that. Airway cross neck breaker. Is it enough? The cover. This deep into the match, and he's at five more. Gonna see a new champ. Cover. Not even a two count. What unbelievable power. What? What just? I can't. I agreed, Saxton. Looks like there's no limit to how much damage this superstar can absorb. McIntyre won't lose focus, though. He's got to remain as sharp as he was a few moments ago. No clue what he hopes to find down there. Run! He's got to take no stick! Super kick! Oh, McIntyre holding him at play ball!
As the champ reaches 365 days with his title, can you think of a champion who's had a tougher year? Well, he's getting it from all sides. The Miz has won the title off of him since day one. No one said this would be easy. I'm shocked the so-called Dark Horse has had the title for a year. Almost a year? He has to get past Drew McIntyre tonight in this brutal Falls Count Anywhere match. Back suplex onto the barricade. What's he open to find down there? Settling around the kendo stick. No good can come from this. Oh! Flubbing blow. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Into a neck breaker. Look at this. Just launched his up. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Trying to make short order of things there. Discus Larian. That was nasty. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Oh, 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 oh. foot meet face. Looking for something, anything under the ring. I guarantee that chair is not going to be used as it was designed for. On the outside. Back super. Oh, watch out. There's a seat for your face. Close line. So effective. Super kick. Good night. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Heads out of the ring. What's next? close to being collateral damage in this one. Back suplex onto the barricade. McIntyre must be getting phased by this attack. Drew's power currently being suppressed. Steel chair to the temple. Oh, didn't see that one coming. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. Gets out of the way. Big boot. Vicious. Oh, tossing chairs like it's hard for heaven. The challenger not looking good right now. Starting to lose a step or two, but the good news is there's plenty of real estate to catch the break. Battling ringside, and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Oh, I'm nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Big boot. Vicious. McIntyre is getting dismantled. Rarely do we see Drew get disassembled like this. Followed up by another to the chest. What a boot! As the grip locked in all the way up, sit out, choke slam. Now that is why they're the champ. Big forearm. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Ooh, well measured. Coming at you. 
And now McIntyre is being neutralized. Drew's getting cut off at the knees at every turn. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Oh, that might have just broken something. Targeting the arm to great effect. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Able to evade. Ooh, upper clothesline. Perched on the shoulders. Pow! The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. The cover. Good night. The champion thought that was it. I don't believe it. How did the challenger survive that? By the skin of their teeth. And don't expect the champ to start going easy on him now. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink in there, but to no avail. Squaring off right by our announce table. Oh, 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 strong knee connects. And McIntyre on the receiving end again. Drew's power currently being suppressed. And the brunt of these attacks are focused above the shoulder. It's a very effective and vulnerable spot to target. Looking for a scoop slam. No. Slips behind. Inverted DDT. But he still has more work to do to get this fully in his favor. That dodge can buy Drew time. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Oof, he was waiting for him to make his move. An impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Oh, uh, he knew what was coming. McIntyre finally finding an it. As the grip locked in all the way up. A sit out choke slam. Looks like the champ is going to retain. The champion retains. Here is your winner. And still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion of Hino. Nobody can keep the WWE Universal Champion down. The right man might not have shown up yet, but he will sooner or later, and this fluke run will finally end. What a title defense by the champion. Now he left it all in the ring tonight. If you told me a year ago that you would still be WWE Universal Champion, I wouldn't have believed it. I am delighted to disappoint you. Am I disappointed? You're a draw. For some reason, people seem to like you. It's just that damn insistence on doing the exact opposite of everything I say that drives me nuts. I've never been great with authority. How long are we going to keep doing this? I am the most must-see general manager in SmackDown's history. You're the WWE Universal Champion with all the momentum. So what if we work together instead of being at each other's throats? Because this right now, this feels like yet another trap you're trying to spring. I don't trust you. Call it a choice between the carrot and the stick. The carrot is, I make you into a cross-platform superstar like WWE has never seen. Of course, you'll need to have a bit of an attitude change and be willing to get your hands dirty. Okay, and what's the stick? The stick is, reject my offer, and if you think it's been a hard year, you can't even imagine what's coming next. After what I'll put you through, you will never escape Roman's shadow. Interesting. 
Maybe that's exactly what I'd do. Escape his shadow and yours, too. What the hell does that mean? What it means is I hear NXT is a really cool brand. Never been. Maybe I take the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, head down to NXT, and go after the title that Roman never won. What? You have a contract. You can't just walk off my show. I don't know. After this past year, I think I've shown I can do just about whatever I want. Fine. You have a choice to make. Work with me and have everything you've ever dreamed of. Or I make you regret ever becoming a WWE superstar. The only stick you've got is the one we allow you to wield. So I'm gonna break it and go to NXT. Do this and you will be in breach of contract. The consequences will be enormous. Oh, I bet they will. If I'm Triple H, I'd look at the GM of SmackDown alienating the WWE Universal Champ so bad that he goes AWOL to another brand as a real negative in his next performance review. I wonder if Adam Pierce is available. You're going to regret this. You first. The rumors on social media were true. It's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion here on NXT. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the WWE Universe. SmackDown GM The Miz must be having a panic attack. I'd be too if my champion fled to another brand. We'll have to see if this is a one-time appearance or a more permanent move. Well, look who it is. The high and mighty undisputed WWE Universal Champion himself has graced us with his presence here in NXT. I don't really know you, Grayson, but I assume that was sarcasm. Of course it was. 
You can walk in here with your fancy title, but I need you to understand that I'm the man around these parts, mate. Look, I get more than anyone what it takes to be a champion, so I respect what you've accomplished across multiple brands in WWE. There's no need to get defensive. I'm the NXT champion, so I'll get however I want to get. And by the way, I'm also the biggest box office superstar ever. So why are you even here on my show? Trying to glom onto the Grayson Waller effect, I presume. <sighs> I've been getting that question a lot. But sorry, champ. You're gonna have to wait along with everyone else to find out. After my match. Hey there, champ. Wasn't expecting to see you here tonight. I guess you don't read social media much. Eh, I try not to. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Justine. I was a big fan of your work back in the day, and that comeback run with your niece was certainly memorable. Thanks. That was the point. Anyway, not sure if you've heard, but I've transitioned into a behind-the-scenes producer role here in NXT. So I can tell you that your request to have a match here tonight has been officially approved. Yeah, I actually already saw Shawn Michaels posted that. Maybe I do need to start paying more attention to social media. Nonetheless, we're excited to have you here at NXT for tonight. And maybe more long term? What exactly is your plan? You sound like everyone else on the internet. But sorry. Can't give you any scoops. I'll tell the world what I plan on doing here after my match. Fine. Good luck out there. And welcome to NXT for however long that ends up being. Here is the originator of British Strong Style. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Tyler may be all smiles backstage, but he brings the fight when it counts. That yeah, man has been proud to represent an entire generation on a continent he's proud of his past in the united kingdom in europe but now he looks to conquer the world bates the first nxt uk triple crown champion nxt uk champ tag champ and nxt heritage cup champion Big, strong boy vibes all day. No weak link in his game. A true example of British strong style.
And the Universal Champion steps into a new battleground here in NXT. And his opponent from Iowa, weighing in at 221 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion of Hino. I certainly would not have predicted we'd see the champ end up here. Nobody would have, but I guarantee there isn't an NXT fan anywhere who's complaining. Let's see how the Dark Horse's next chapter begins. Here's something you don't see every day. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion is looking to match on NXT. Well, while we're certainly excited, there's one person who isn't. And that's SmackDown GM, The Miz. We don't know the champion's intentions here in NXT, but we do know Miz has already filed a complaint to Triple H and the board of directors regarding the champion's appearance tonight. We'll have to see how that all plays out. A oh. ah, club with the right forearm. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Tyler Bate in a state of distress. Bate has to wake up and fast. Enough already. That one busted up Tyler. Insulting. Making a mockery of your opponent could eventually backfire. What a punch! Boom! Yeah. Was ready for that. Boom! Big boot. Vicious. Oh! He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Whoa, not quite yet. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Now Bate looking for some momentum. Yeah, Tyler getting some newly determined focus. Uncorked a clothesline to deny that maneuver. What a boot. He's just getting thrown around out here. He somehow has to get himself back in order again. Oh, Bate was ready for that. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Oh, merciless knee to the face. Ooh. Slips out of the way. He's getting fired up now. Really feeding off this crowd. Assault being brought to Bate. Bate has to wake up and fast. Oh, insulting. But this could also light a fire under you. Make you fight even harder. As the grip locked in, all the way up, way up high into a sit-out choke slam. Can Bate recover from that? Cover! Two! What a victory here on NXT for the WWE Universal Champion. But we still don't know why he's here in the first place. Patience, Saxton. I think we're about to find out. It feels damn good to be here in NXT to compete in front of all of you and finally get away from the Miz. But let me set the record straight and put all the rumors to rest. Well, this felt good to get my first NXT win, <laughs> it won't be my last. I'm not here just for a one-off appearance. <laughs> no. This this is bigger than that. Every champion in WWE walks in the shadow 
of Roman Reigns. Me, more than any other. So I'm here because I want something that sets me apart from the head of the table. Something that Roman never won. And that is the NXT Championship. So Shawn Michaels, if you're looking for a can't miss main event, <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Did the WWE Universal Champion just ask for an NXT title match? I'm not sure how much of an ask that was. He's pretty much forcing Shawn Michaels' hand. Well, I know I'd love to see Grayson Waller go toe-to-toe -to -toe with SmackDown's champion. So would I, but he's going to have to get in line. Waller already has the defense lined up at NXT Battleground. Either way, it's going to be a huge matchup if and when it happens. Well, now we know your plan, and it's really exciting. I mean, other than the several hashtags that are now trending on social media. I thought you said you didn't pay attention to that stuff. I don't, but I am now. And honestly, it's not good. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's great that you're here. But you've ruffled a lot of feathers among fans and the NXT superstars who say you've just waltzed in and jumped the line. Their words. Shawn Michaels seemed happy with it. It's a huge match for NXT, but Sean has had to take several calls from The Miz and his Mizzy and Troy about possible legal action. Not to mention this blowing up our plans for NXT Battleground. This is kind of a mess. Sounds like part of the job. And since you're new to the social media game, positive or negative, it doesn't really matter. When anything trends, it's good for business. Uh, 
Okay, but what do I tell the locker room full of angry wrestlers? You can tell them, when I become NXT Champion, I'll be happy to give anyone a title opportunity who feels I skipped the line. Alright, I'll relay the message. After I delete these 17 voicemails from Troy. Man, that guy's annoying. Persistent, but annoying. The moment has arrived. Grayson Waller is ready to defend his NXT Championship against his toughest challenger yet, the WWE Universal Champion. Wait a minute, from behind, it's Wesley! Well, he was supposed to be next in line to get a title match at NXT Battleground. And it looks like he wasn't content to just complain about it on social media. I think the title match could be off. Any luck getting that, uh, justice for Grayson hashtag trending? You should be more concerned with whatever stupidity Shawn Michaels is engaged in on social media. I mean, by the time he logs off and stops granting wishes, you could be in a battle royal next week. One-on-one, -on -one, Battle Royal, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, I'm going to get my title match against you. Fair enough. And just so you know, it wasn't a coincidence running into you here today. I wanted to talk to you about this whole special referee thing. What about it? Honestly, I don't care who wins the bloody match between you and Wesley. But if you're really trying to one-up Roman Reigns, we could help each other out. What are you getting at?
Johnny Gargano has been my personal nuisance for years now. So if you go give Gargano a thumping, then maybe I'm not so impartial in your match against Wesley if you get my drift. What do you say? I don't really have a problem with Gargano, but if it gives me an edge against Wes Lee, I'll do it. All right. Wasn't expecting the WWE Universal Champion to get his hands dirty, but here we are. Wes played dirty taking me out before our match, so I figure I can do the same thing. Good for you! As for Johnny Wrestling, he'll be training here at the PC later today, so that's your chance to strike. Understood.
Sean is very upset about your incident with Johnny Gargano, and frankly, so am I. I did what I had to do. Seriously? We rolled out the red carpet and you essentially spit on it. Is that all you have to say for yourself? Wesley jumped me before my last match, and now with Grayson Waller as the special ref, who knows what else Lee would try to pull. It might not have been pretty, but I had to strike first. You of all people should understand that. The wrestler part of me gets it. The management side, not so much. Just be ready to pay the consequences for your actions. The man in stripes who won't be changing his. It's our impartial referee, Grayson Waller. The following is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, Grayson Waller. The dark horse might be looking for a little insurance from tonight's special guest referee, Grayson Waller. Might be. He attacked Waller's rival, Johnny Gargano, at the Performance Center. I think it's clear he's trying to get Waller in his pocket. Now this is a must-see kid of WWE. And the participants, first 
from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wesley! Many folks thought Wesley didn't have what it takes to become a single superstar. Well, he proved them wrong by winning the NXT North American title and holding it longer than anyone else in history. We've already seen Wes fly, and now we know the sky is the limit. We know from experience that Wesley has no problem taking on all comers. Yeah, Lee will take any chance to show off and show out to soar through the skies. Wesley will take it. And I can't wait to see him compete. It's the Warrior who's followed a dusty trail from the fringes to the spotlight. And his opponent from Iowa, weighing in at 221 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion of a once forgotten man who is now etched in the annals of WWE history. This is inspiration personified. Sure, but he'd better be careful or he might find out what happens when an underdog becomes overrated. It usually doesn't end well for them. It's time to silence the critics and make some noise. I appreciate the WWE Universal Champion's ambition. He wants to prove a point to Roman Reigns by winning a title that Roman never held. However, if he were to fall short, it would be tremendously embarrassing. No doubt, Michael. And with NXT champion Grayson Waller out here as the special guest referee, this number one contender match becomes much harder to call. Well, maybe the dark horse needs to be humbled a bit. Either way, I'm going to enjoy watching this. Oh, what a choke slam. Toss them across the ring. Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. Johnny Gargano said he'd be watching this match closely, and he meant it. 
He probably didn't take too kindly to being jumped by the Universal Champion at the PC. Both arms trapped into the crucifix, shoulders down. The pin doesn't even last to a count of one. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Big kick. Placed into the corner. Left an opening and got a kick to the face. What's he in for? What power. What dominance. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person to make a statement. He's fighting hard and it's paying off. His offense is second to none at times like this. Sent flying. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Getting tossed around. Targeting the stomach to reverse that maneuver. Decimating the knee. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. And the momentum's clearly against West now. Can West recover from this adversity? Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Great counter. And West isn't looking helpless anymore. West showing how hard it is to fully shut him down. He's just getting beaten at all fronts here. These are dire straights for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. As the grip locked in, all the way up, Sid chokeslam. Wesley is in serious danger. As the grip locked in, all the way up, Sid chokeslam. But that's not it. I don't know what it is. Fast count to get to three. Utterly inexcusable. Here's your uh, Inconceivable. How does this guy keep beating the odds? I don't believe it. It sounded like he had money on his opponents or something. Start believing, Corey. Hey, they were just trying to keep them on their toes here. And guess what? They did. So it looks like a win-win to me. Yeah, more like a game plan backfiring, Corey. I guess they're letting anyone backstage these days. Actually, my pass allows me access to any brand shows. Wow, good for you. Here to watch me win the NXT Championship? No, I'm here to deliver an important message. Miz and his team of high-paid lawyers are putting the finishing touches on a legal motion to strip you of the WWE Universal Championship. Unless you drop this NXT thing and return to SmackDown immediately. If I decide to come back to SmackDown, it'll be you and your annoying boss's lucky day, as I'll be carrying two championships. Hi, 
I doubt that. And no matter what happens tonight, you're going to end up right where you started. Under Mrs. Thumb. You mean, like you? I don't think so. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the NXT Championship! Here he is, the title holder, in search of adding an NXT-sized notch on his belt. The dark horse looks like a man confident he's going to be walking out of here needing an extra belt hanger for his closet. Everyone walks in that way, whether they end up walking out having won a title or having lost their pants. It's the NXT Champion hoping he can keep the title firmly within his grasp. Talk about pivotal moments in a career. This could be it for Grayson Waller. Knowing Waller and the amount of confidence he has, he'll be ready for this opportunity. Soon we'll all be feeling the Grayson Waller effect and loving it. Uh, speak for yourself. Introducing the challenger. A title coveted by legends and hungry young talent alike. Champion versus champion. This is as big.
big as it gets. By beating Grayson Waller tonight, the man who is considered the dark horse of WWE can accomplish something that Roman Reigns never achieved. Grayson Waller doesn't care about any of that. Someone's coming to his house to try to take his title, and he's not going down without a huge fight. Oof! Shifts it back onto him. Getting back into the ring. A rolling elbow. Grayson clearly wants a fight here. Planted with a neck breaker. Oh, geez. Nasty kick to the face. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Oh, and a knee to the face. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. The fans are feeling the Grayson Waller effect. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Ducking out of trouble. And I think it's going to be Grayson doing some groaning after that attack. Close line. What impact. Grayson now undertaking a barrage. But Grayson can't let the... These two are clearly fired up going blow for blow. Boom. Just teeing off with that fight for everybody. The fight is on, and it's furious. Waller wasting no motion on the counter. A counter answered by another counter. Exhausting setting in, and neither one of them is letting up. Oh. Oh, clubbing blow to the back. Vicious right forward. Uh-oh. And Grayson gets that turn back on him. Big boot. Vicious. Ooh. Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. From the top. Oh, elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Strong forearm. And boom! Good night. Champ looking to end this. And kicks out before the reps count. I was not expecting that from him at this point. Discus Lariat. Oh, no. Oh, not to the belly. Ooh, bullseye. Heading up, he's thinking big. That's insane. Driving corkscrew moonsault. Oh. Oh, kick to the face. Face. A steady stream of moves taking out Waller. Grayson has to start volley. As the grip locked in, all the way up, way up high into a sit out choke slam. The champ's eyes look glazed over. As the grip locked in, all the way up, way up high into a sit out choke slam. The title's in jeopardy here. I right, think the paradigm has shifted. That's insane. WWE Universal Champion has accomplished a feat that Roman Reigns never could by winning the NXT Championship. He shouldn't even be in NXT. This guy's AWOL. And I have it on good authority that the Miz's legal action is moving forward.
Hey, good match out there. Don't you good match me? You wouldn't even have gotten a title opportunity if I hadn't helped you beat Wesley. We made a deal to work together for that one match. Whatever happened after that was fair game. Well, speaking of fair, I've already gone to Shawn Michaels and petitioned for a rematch. And due to the millions of people who joined the Justice for Grayson movement over the past few weeks, he agreed to give me one next week on NXT. Not quite sure I buy the reasoning behind all that, but either way, I'm happy to face you again. This time, we're going to see if you can really hang with me, because it's going to be an Iron Man match. Fine with me. More chances to beat you, mate. The following contest is an Iron Man match and is for the NXT Championship. Here comes the next big thing in WWE. Yeah, according to Grayson Waller. Already quickly risen through the ranks of NXT. Never afraid to pick a fight, though there's no guarantee he'll actually fight fair. You can make friends or you can make money in this business. And Waller's going to make a lot of money. It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness.
There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? The reins are off, and it is on. hanging over it here we go with this Iron Man rematch for the NXT Championship. If Grayson Waller can take care of business in the ring, then all the legal stuff goes away, and the WWE Universal Champion will head back to SmackDown to deal with the consequences. You have to wonder if it's a bit of a distraction for the defending champion. He can't afford to take his eye off the ball in a match like this. And down with the suplex. Oh, using the knee. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. That's insane! Driving corkscrew moonsault! The WWE Universe giving him an extra shot of adrenaline. Big boot. Vicious. Good golly, what a knee. Great reversal. Opportunity now for Waller to capture some momentum. Yeah, Waller able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. And he barely evades. Escaped just in time. Rolling Thunder into the flatliner. A bit of hot dogging from Grayson here. Boom. Super kick. Waller knew that was coming. Basement drop kick. Like shooting a dart right into the champion's knee. Now that'll do some serious damage. A bad place to be for the challenger. I mean, just think about how punishing this match has been already. That all adds up. Super kick! And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Oh, 
The arm taking the brunt of that. Bracing now under taking it. Rollins has got to find a window to fight back. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. Oh, shit. Finds it. for Waller. Big boot. Vicious. Oh my God, what a kick. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. That's insane. Driving corkscrew moonsault. Cover. There's two. And the defending champion gets an early fall. He avoids the damage. Super kick! Jarring impact. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. And you can see the anguish coming through. Usually the adrenaline of competing masks how hurt you really are, but the pain must be really manifesting itself. And it looks like Waller's bleeding after that. Just breaking down the opponent. A steady stream of moves taking out Waller. Grayson has to start volleying back somehow. Shot punch. First quarter of this battle is now passed. Advantage in hand looking to... That's insane! Whoa, look out! What a reckless attack. Off the top rope, putting it all on the line. clear he's not stepping back comes back into the ring oh, vicious knee to the face oh this is gonna hurt oh, stop right to the gut Boom. nice Ooh. oh kick connects he's heading up top Thinking big. That's insane. Driving corkscrew moonsault. Cover. Two count. The defending champion scores an early fall. Oh, just turn that around. The challenger being outclassed here. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Oh, brought in the hard way. A steady stream of moves taking out. Grayson has to start volleying back somehow. He went right into that turnbuckle. Uncorked a big punch. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. Humiliating. Measured stomp right to the gut. Followed up by another to the chest. Connects on the kick. Oh man, kick to the face. Looking for a high risk move. That's insane. Saw it coming. Big forearm. Waist lock applied and countered into an arm drag. Ooh. And he finds an answer for Walsh. Never saw it coming. Grayson now undertaking a barrage. But Grayson can't let this flourish derail him. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Big forearm. Oh, 
did you hear that? Double axe handle. He's going for it all. From the top. Catches nothing but air. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Just crossed the first quarter of our time limit. Focus needs to be regained because it only takes a moment to make a two-fall lead disappear. Ah, oh, kick! Nasty kick. A steady stream of moves taking out Waller. But Grayson can't let this flourish derail him. Discus Larian. That was nasty. Now that'll do some serious damage. Working to neutralize that arm. Climbing up to the top now. That's insane! Climbing corkscrew moonsault! Cover! There's two! The champ scores a fall. <laughs> oh, big boot. Oh, that might have just broken something. And an impressive amount of offense against him here. Yeah, now he has to devise a way back into this. Uh-oh. Harlem sidekick! Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Yeah, Waller seemed like he was angling for a few extra zeros in the paycheck there. Oh, rolls right into the super kick. Oh, and in the chest as well. Oh! Brutal stomp to the body. And ooh, well measured. Ooh. He's back into the ring. Oh, man. Waller anticipated that one. Bam. Targets the gut to end the offense. to the back. Big back body drop. Ooh, a sharp kick. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara on bar. Oh, Fujiwara on Ooh, jarring right hand. Wow, somersault on Brilliant. Guys, they're getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. Oh, and then the chest as well. Measured stomp right to the gut. Oh! Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Ah. Oh! Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Grayson falling victim to a surge of attacks here. Grayson has to start volleying back somehow. That's insane! Oh, and, moves up. and now we are three quarters of the way through the battle. Hopelessness has to be settling in now. Grayson Waller! Grayson Waller with a rolling thunder stunner! Gonna see a new champ! Is it enough? The cover! And a kick out! No one saw that! Guys, I thought we were getting a new champion there. <laughs> what? We might see a new champ here tonight. Don't put the cart before the horse. The champ kicked out and has no intentions on losing that title anytime soon. A new strategy is needed right about now. If that couldn't end things. Followed up by another to the chest. So much damage inflicted. Momentum going back 
to Grayson's corner. Yeah, Waller's survival instincts are taking over. Super kick! Grayson now undertaking a barrage. Grayson has to start volleying back somehow. That's insane! Takedown, Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Followed by a forearm smash. Got the armbar in deep. Perfect way to lose a limb here. Not much time left as the seconds continue to tick away. It's not over, but the score differential on the board is worlds apart. Every trick needs to come out in short order. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. Into a chop block. their breath out. Effective counter. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. That's insane! Diving corkscrew moves on. Is it enough? The cover! Two! The defending champion gets a fall. As the grip locked in, all the way up, way up high into a sit-out choke slam. The champ will stay champ. As the grip locked in, all the way up, sit-out choke slam. The champ will stay champ. Hoist it up. And the champ stands tall once again. Another incredible win for the WWE Universal Champion. Every time you think this guy's down, he finds a way to pull victory from the jaws of defeat. What a title defense for him tonight. He came in with that unshakable champion mentality.